to court and we respect our courts, are not telling the courts that there are benefits to Kenyan farmers, there are benefits to consumers that we are stopping them from enjoying. Today we are stopping tea farmers and tea processors from enjoying the tax exemptions and the zero rating of VAT on inputs for value addition that they would be enjoying today had we allowed the implementation of the finance bill. Your Excellency, there are also issues around the governance of KTD and its subsidiaries, and I've had proposals on concerns between the governance structures between KTD and the subsidiaries, and I want to commit, Your Excellency, should these be issues that we, but forums that will come with action that will help to bring more money back into the pockets of our people, as we did promise them during the campaigns. Finally, Your Excellency, let me say and encourage you to continue with the good work that you are doing. You will remember that the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto was not drafted by seasoned economists. It was not drafted or all the ideas in our manifesto did not come from economists like P.S. Kombudo here. Our manifesto came from the people on the ground. It is through the economic forums that we did in all counties. And I was fortunate, Your Excellency, among us, the uh, sessions I attended outside, outside the, the counties we attended with you when we broke out. I think I remember is the day you were either in Iten, we were with the Chief uh, Prime Cabinet Secretary in Bomet County. And many of the issues that I've had in the breakout sessions are issues that farmers raised during our economic forums in Bomet County on tea farming. Therefore, these are not things that we can afford the luxury of time to keep talking.